Alright, so when I interviewed you a little while ago, you said you're coming to win, but even if you got fifth or tenth, you'd be smiling like a motherfucker. At the end of the I know. That's the thing. And I came off the track and I said, hey, I, earlier I said whether I win third or fifth, it doesn't really matter to me. Well, it did matter because I won. <laughs> you know, I won. I won just because. So the reason I was kind of not angry, but I was bummed because in midway through, like I had the speed and everything, I was catching those guys, and and uh, but then at the same time, you know, I rode a I rode a little tight and I tried to shake it off and whatnot. But towards the end, I just tried to keep it smart and I made one big mistake where I, I scrubbed and my my boot hit the hit the jump, so I almost crashed once, and then um, <clears throat> then I had a good run there going. But all in all, you know, once I kept, I caught Justin. Oh, sorry, I caught Justin and those guys, Barsha, a little bit, and but just kept her, kept her steady. You know, I didn't want to do anything, anything stupid. There's a lot of racing left, and now that I think about it, fourth place is actually, you know, it's not too bad. You know, we could have had a, a way worse night, or so. But I mean, of course, I would have been, I would have loved to be on the podium. I think without that mistake, I really had a shot at it. But it's all good. We got, we got a lot of races left. Were there any butterflies like in the pack about the first gate drop? Like um, yeah, for sure. I think that's more just again now lack of experience with you know starting with 20 riders because I kind of I kind of messed up both starts a little bit. I just kind of dumped the clutch and found my actually the first heat race start wasn't too bad, but then I dumped the clutch and it just gets really hairy back there. So I was like 15th after the start or something like that, and um, that obviously isn't ideal. I think with a better start, my night could actually look really good. So is the I mean, in the press conference, every question is about your arm. And is the arm a non-issue now? Um, yeah, no. Like, I, it doesn't bother me riding as much. Um, considering the like when I think about that from where I came, because even when I started riding, my first two months, it was nowhere. Like, it just wasn't there yet, you know, because of lack of. I just wasn't used to the lack of range of motion. And I actually still have a lot of stiffness pain in my wrist, for example. You know, that's what I'm, why I'm actually riding with a wrist brace. It just supports it, and just in case I crash, it would keep it a lot better. So um, I don't really think about it that much when I'm out there anyway. So um, all in all, it's really just me, me getting comfortable again and hitting my marks. And, you know, it's really, it's not even me. It's the other people that hype it up. Because yeah. in the end, you're down there before the before the gate drops, and there's everybody. You know, there are interviews of like, oh, and the crash, and the arm, and it just constantly kept <laughs> keeps being brought up. You know, even though I'm way done with it. Like, I mean, it's been a year, but obviously, what do you what do you expect? You know, it's the first race, so it's normal. Um, and sometimes you think you're not thinking about it, but it kind of lingers around. Not not really that it bothers me that much. But the other thing is, you don't want to go out and just do some silly. So it's really just good to get the first one out of the way. Bottom line. Yeah. So with the first round of the way, the confidence has to be even higher than it was before. Yeah, because I think simply, you know, where I came from, I came from way back there, fought my way up to fourth, and then I saw that I caught I caught Marvin midway through a little bit, and, and Anderson and those guys. Um, it's just a huge confidence booster, kind of knowing where you're at, you know. In the end, this was, you know, the top 22 guys that that there are. So just kind of gives you a little bit of an idea where you're at, kind of calming and. No, it'll be solid going into next weekend's race. Was there contact or a near crash or anything? Like well, the near crash was, <laughs> yeah, that was through roost actually. Okay. Um, I just put my head down and I got, you know, dirt shoved in the face. Um, other than that, there was only time I almost crashed was when my, my foot caught the ground. Yeah. But other than that, you know, the heat race. I, so basically we probably, I talked to Oscar, we probably went through every single scenario in the heat race and in the main you could possibly go through because the heat race was rough. I mean, there was some bar banging going on. Holy crap. Um, well, I didn't, you know, I blew by him in the whoops and, but he got a little, got a little upset about it. But anyways, it, but it's kind of good that it happened that way because like I said, first race back and then there was some bar banging and we dealt with it. And so in the main event, bad start, not where I want to be all the time, but we got it out of the way. So I definitely went through everything now. Last question, tell me about that butt pad. Um, bleed for this. It basically, I read about Carmichael's um, Sea Biscuit back in the day. Uh, he had a he had a, a butt patch that said beat the Sea Biscuit, and obviously it's a racehorse that you know everybody thought was nothing, and then it became the greatest horse ever. And um, basically, just another movie title, Bleed for This. You know, it's the movie where um, the guy comes back from a broken neck, and they said he could never ever fight, and came back to be basically the best, and pulled it off. And I actually met the guy, the original guy at a NASCAR race 
before the 2017 season. So it just kind of fit perfect because they asked, Fox asked me for butt patch ideas and we came out with Lee for this and I think there couldn't have been a better one for the first round. Great to see you guys. Thank you. See you guys.